Good morning, you guys. We are gonna head to Trader Joe's and I'm gonna be doing a wine review for you guys. So let's get to it. I got busted at the Trader Joe's and they're like, you're not allowed to film. And I'm like, oh, okay, sorry. But you know what they say, do and ask forgiveness later. But so that's why I don't have, I was gonna take pictures of the wines, but then I got really self-conscious. So then I stopped taking pictures. We are back from shopping from Trader Joe's. And Tyler's going to be joining me on my Trader Joe wine haul today. We have eight different wines. Yes, yes. If you guys want to know how we think about these Trader Joe's wines, keep on watching. Please like and subscribe to my video and let us get started. We got some canned wines. And before people are like, ooh, canned wines, I think there's a place time and a place like we were canoeing and they would have been kind of nice even though we did have just a bottle of wine as well but they're lighter maybe we'll bring them hiking next week if we like them simpler wines and they had four different types white and then we got a rosé but there's also a mango and a peach which i was just too afraid to try i think there's gonna be more and more canned wines especially since there's such a craze for canned seltzers. Um, I also saw somewhere that they are also trying to make lower ABV wines. This is 10%, but this is produced in Italy. We do not know what the grapes are, so. It's grapeless. It doesn't have a grape variety on here. Even Tyler knows that's not a, usually a good sign. It says frizzante on here. Frizzante is not as, um, it's like fizzy and spumante is like full sparkling. You, I know what you're gonna say. What is he gonna say? I'm gonna say it's a tease and bubbles. I need the spumante. <laughs> Don't give me the frizzante. Tyler wants more bubbles. <laughs> Pool wine, Pool, the beach. beach. Easily transportable, no glass. So now let's go on to the rosé. Maybe a little bit more strawberry. Floral. A little bit more body to it. I think I prefer the white. Okay, we are moving on to our actual wines. Not saying that's not a real wine, but we're moving on to our glass bottles. The first white that I picked was a Sauvignon Blanc. Yes, I've done a lot of Sauvignon Blancs, but this one is a little different. So this one is from Côte de Gascon, which I've never had a wine from, Southwest France. And it's actually the same region where they make Armagnac, which is a grape liquor. Apple. Passion fruit. But I get like very like ripe, sweet apple as well. It reminds me a lot of a New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc, although it's not as grassy as a New Zealand one. It'd probably be a, a, a touch colder. Yeah. A little bit. We literally came back from the store not too long ago. It's been a very Trader Joe's day. It's in the frozen food. You probably have to try it. Chicken, shiitake mushroom, a stir fry. We added some Thai chilies to it to give it a little ump. And yeah. Thai chili. A Thai chili, because I'm a little baby. We added some cabbage. What else did I add in Green there? Pepper. Green peppers. It was delicious. This is the rose version of Estoril Vino Verde. I've heard some good things about it. I've never gotten it. Also a goal. A very big goal is to not get anything spilled on my dress. I'm not saying this is sweet, but there's a touch of residual sugar in here, which I was not expecting. I really love the regular white vino verde. 
this one, it feels a touch heavier. I would get fatigued drinking that the whole bottle. Yes. It's not really a rosé fan. Not being sold on the rosé yet. We only have one more to go though. <laughs> This is one of actually one of my favorite rosés. It's not your average rosé. This is a serious rosé, people. So Tavel is in Rhone, France. It's Southern Rhone. They only produce rosés, which is kind of rare, but they are known for like a very deep color. Pure salmon pink color. A lot of places, they dye their salmon. Raspberry? Yeah, like a red berry. No more tannins. More tannins. No sweetness. It's dry, you guys. It's be a good like dinner wine, a light cream pasta, or some seafood, maybe chicken, an herby chicken dish. Thing with like cheeses, it'd go pretty well. Picnic, but not like party at the pool kind of wine. Yeah, it's not a pool wine. I think it's pretty versatile. Well, I I crushed mine. So. I swear she's pouring me heavy ones. No. Our first red is a Pinot Noir from Central Coast. So I just covered that aged in French oak for some time. So it's gonna give off those nice vanilla baking spices, clove. But the oak is interesting because we just did a bourbon tasting and you can smell the oak and bourbon too, but it's, there's something different about the wine. So for bourbons, that's virgin oak. If it's newly charred, you get like very intense oak flavor, especially for a delicate grape like Pinot Noir, they probably don't want to use new oak barrels. But I get like cherries, I get like damp earth. It smells really nice. Do you like the smell of this? Mm -hmm. The finish is not very, um, Smooth? It's a swap. It's like the flavor dies and the tannins ramp up. I like the smell better than the taste. We will provide our ranking. What did you whisper? <laughs> this is gonna be ASMR, you guys. We're doing an ASMR for the seventh wine, okay? It's a Malbec from Argentina. Normally she gets louder, not quieter. As the wine, for more wines we drink. <laughs> It's called La Finca, but it just says Argentina on here, which should have been my sign that this wine was like meh, but you never know. It literally says vineyards lie on the foothills of the Argentinian Andes. Like, dude, the Andes go throughout the whole freaking country. Longest mountain range in the world. Longest mountain range in the world, so what does that tell me? Not much. And it's been aged for three months. Oh, oh snap, Crackle Pop. This is not Corvette approved. This was $7. Seven? Seven. Seven dollars. Seven dollars. That's why we don't know where it's from. It's like the opposite of the Pinot Noir. It literally doesn't have any tannins. Pretty flat. If you don't like tannins, this is the wine for you. I wish I knew where it was in the Andes. Not, maybe it's not worth knowing. <laughs> We're moving on to the last wine, which is a Cabernet Sauvignon. Pace Doc is kind of around like the Languedoc region, so south of France. This is where you can find really good value wines. Some wines aren't that great, some wines are good, so it's kind of crapshoot. This one was $9, so, you know, we're gonna check it out, give it a whirl. We're See? scared. <laughs> we're kind of a little scared. Black Plum, maybe, Cassis. There's definitely seen some oak in here. It's because I get that spice. But man, that alcohol smell is whooping my butt. So that's why I talked about this in my last video of why you'd want to aerate your wines, especially for young reds that are very tannic because it will kind of soften the tannins. Not bad. Not bad. It gets harsh in the beginning, but, but a very smooth finish. Yeah. For the price point, I'm 
pleasantly surprised. Definitely need some food. Should we get the brie? Top to bottom, bottom to top? Bottom, bottom to top. All right. Last place. Yeah. I have the Vino Verde. Oh, really? I really did not like it. This I, guy? Yeah. That was my last place, unfortunately. Mm, I got the rose in the can. Mm, seven was my the Malbec. Seven was this for me. Someone told me to try this and I'm very disappointed. That's my two cents, two cents. My six is the simpler wine rosé. Wow, so my bottom three or your bottom mm -hmm. three just shuffled around. Mm -hmm. I had the Malbec. This one is fine, but like... White was better. White was better. Number five was the white simpler wine. I had the Cabernet. Okay. Oh, interesting. I thought he it liked was, it. It was good. But then for four, I have the white. So like, again, clean, crisp. I think I'm gonna do Pinot Noir and Sauvignon Blanc number three. My three is the Tavel. 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 I like Tavel. I like Tavel. My two, Sauvignon Blanc. And then two for me was the Cabernet Sauvignon. Really? I like, think. I think for $9, it's pretty good. And then, so your number one? Was the Caretaker. Caretaker, you like the Pinot Noir the best. I like the Tobble the best. I, yeah. I think we are pretty aligned in our top three or four and our yeah. bottom three or four. The French wines are at the top. Yeah, it's higher a up. We watched the French Open this morning. We did watch the French Open. We watched this morning. Congrats to the King of Play. Congratulations, Nadal. But uh, yeah. French wines look like they want. <laughs> Please hit that thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And cheers, you guys. Are you gonna, wait, I don't even have anything anymore. Uh, I have a can. Oh yeah, okay, I guess we're gonna do this. Ratchet. All right. Ratchet. Cheers. And I'll catch you guys later. Elaine's dad, this one's for you. I got back into a film. Mm.